Raya, as you begin to read through this, this strange tome, you quickly realize that this is some manner of religious text oh. for a god that you have never heard of. Interesting. More specifically, this is a god that has been forgotten from the world. Oh shit. Ooh. The forgotten god. You now, as you are reading this book, you learn their name. And I'm going to DM you this name in Discord in a moment. Okay. But I want Ray I want you to understand, Rhea feels that to say the name of the forgotten god out loud would invite disaster. Do it. But I am going to DM you the name. Don't think, just do it. No, I am not going to. If it <laughs> I'm not the name. I'm not careless like you guys. <laughs> I swear, if you were speaking and we get a second void point in, in the void <laughs> pad, I would be, I would fear. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm fearing anyways, any, you know. Immediate fear. No fear, plus one void, one fear. <laughs> Why do you keep giving us tools to destroy the world, KB? Why do you keep doing this? Uh, you know I think something tells me KB is not a benevolent god of their own universe, <laughs> Deeves. I think, oh, like, I think literally, because they just give us the means to be good or evil, we are just people and fuck up a lot. I swear to god, <laughs> KB, KB, the music choice you made is very clever. <laughs> <laughs> God. Of course. Fuck, all right. Interesting. So as you as you continue to read, you learn certain information. Yeah. It seems that according to this book, the moon is not supposed to be this gray, lifeless rock that you have always known it to be. Oh. In this book, it describes a verdant green forest moon. A paradise <laughs> of a paradise of beasts and where all of the greatest hunters and guardians of nature aspired to go aspire in present tense in the text aspire to go after their death to be with the forgotten god. Oh, that's amazing. And to join in the this eternal hunt of in this glorious paradise. You of course then walk out on on deck. And of course, despite this what you have been reading. Mm -hmm. The night sky is still the same as it always has been. You look up mm -hmm. and you see a dead, lifeless moon. Oh. No. Oh. Jeez. You know. Yeah, that... What if there are dino bones on the moon? I mean, there probably would be. Plausible. Bones if the moon was a dinosaur. Hear me out, what if there's still dinosaurs on the moon? Well, kinda seems like there aren't anymore. Something Only one happened. Way to find out. Yeah. Something we don't know about the moon theory, though. Let's take the gilded goose to the moon. <laughs> take the gilded goose to <laughs> space. Endgame is being able to use the money from the Midas campaign, from like the, we've the Midas to upgrade the ship so we can fly to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Turn this campaign to fucking treasure planet. <laughs> that would be amazing, though. I'm so right. proud of this fucking thing. We take a certain amount of treasure. Naraya, yes. you've only just started this book. This is the picture that you have you have gathered. The, this book seems to be the teachings of a god which has been forgotten to the world, erased 
from history itself. You have, you have a choice. You can keep reading. And you can finish and you can read this tome cover to cover. But if you do, it will change you. You will be the first, the first person to remember what has been forgotten. And it will have an impact on you one way or the other. Honestly, or you can put, or you can put, put the book down and leave it for someone else. Honestly, I feel like Ray is kind of getting used to the idea of being the only person who remembers a certain specific thing that happened in the past. So, uh, you know, yeah, I'm just going to keep reading. I'm incredibly right. curious. So as you continue to read, the tome is, it is all the teachings of the goddess of nature god of the hunt and the changes the constant changes that life brings you have read this tome and you have understood it you have one choice which you must make now oh no, no, no. rea ionia you may choose to embrace the teachings of this forgotten god. Or, you may choose to reject these teachings as false. Huh. Either option will change you. There is no going back at this point. You will be changed. Oh, no, yeah. how? Game's decision time. Oh, fuck. I won't remember no, this. It appears. But the, oh, cho the choice of how to change is yours. Do you embrace this new teaching, or do you reject it? Let's huh. see. Is Rhea looking for a new god to bring her in, or is she going to reject all gods in her despondence? <laughs> become Catholic? This will, show how, this will show how susceptible she will be to cults. <laughs> I have no idea. Shit. Ah! You can always, uh, hey, Rhea, you can always let the dice decide. Rhea, well, all right. If you don't want to let the, the dice decide, I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you a way to, to not experiment this real quick. Sure, right? sure. So, imagine you have just discovered this, like, old religion. Like, you have discovered, like, maybe the gods before the Greek the gods that maybe became those or something, and one was left out. Yeah. And you learned all about it and like the practices and like the ideology that they teach. What would you think about that? I think if that's you the exact thing saw that's in great proposed. detail how this lost religion practiced, yeah. would you yeah. just see it as like that's a cool thing to have happened and I just will know this? Or would you want to bring it back? Are you going to become pagan? Yes or no? <laughs> this is, uh... This is like an orb moment. Yeah, you gotta yeah, just definitely. touch the orb. I <laughs> heard you. Oh, gotta touch just touch it. Huh. You're trying to invent new slang, like trying to get that into Urban Dictionary? Oh, this is such an orb moment. Oh, <laughs> it's an orb yeah, moment. like certifi orb, yeah. certifiable orb moment, my guy. It is a certified I... orb momento. Here I am <laughs> pondering my orb. Anyways, um, I think like Ray is just thinking long and hard about what she has learned from this book, and she's just kind of like looking up at the moon as she does it, and she's. I don't know. Does the moon look any different with the newfound knowledge knowledge of the old gods? Or hear me out. Would you want the moon to be green again? No, just tell me, does the moon look different, yes or no? I mean... In your heart in your heart of hearts, yeah. in your mind's eye, as you imagine yourself as this sad minotaur lady looking up at the moon, does it look different? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Is it I think good yes. different or I, bad I, different? I think good, in a way. You're following this religion now. I guess so, yeah. 
I'm kind of going for it. <laughs> if, you, if you look up, and when the moon, lady. listen, Rhea, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore, and that's how you know that you found a new god. <laughs> but I swear to God, <laughs> that's a new god. That's, that's my veridic wisdom <gasps> I impart onto you. Fine, I I I accept it. Accept the present right. moment. Accept the pizza pie. Accept the pizza present. Rhea. <laughs> You look up at the, the the moon in the night sky, and you see you see the silver moon. And while you know it's not how the moon is supposed to be, it still speaks to you in some way. Sort of a a melancholy, a, a grave almost. It's like this, like looking upon a tombstone of someone that you were supposed to have loved, Aww. but now only know of them from stories. Yeah. And I, I think like Rhea kind of relates at some level because it's like she also just found out something about herself that was forgotten in history. So yeah, they have to stick together. I guess so. <laughs> and as you look up, the moonlight reflects in your eye, and your eyes turn the same color as the moon. Oh! Oh! And they seem to give off a faint silver light. Rhea oh. Ionia, you are now Rhea Silverlight. Oh! Fuck, it changes her family name. Changes my <laughs> my name? Well, oh, fuck! I suppose you don't need to take the name. But you well, are... I, I think if you're, if you're gonna be a devout... If you're gonna be devout to this new religion, I mean, name changes are kind of standard. But, like, also consider, if it's a true name, FaZe can't get you on your old name now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, all right. As the silver light, I, I, on... though. Yes. You have been changed. And yeah. you gain certain blessings. Your belief in the forgotten god strengthens your spirit and your soul. And you gain certain benefits. Well, I do like that. I will put them in the chat. And then I will read them aloud. Oh! As new God acquired, benefits gained. As the silver light, you have gained resistance to radiance and force damage. Oh! Rhea can never become undead. Pog? With the blessings of the moon, you no longer need to sleep. You cannot be forced to sleep by magic. And you, well, you still need to take a long rest. And that long rest does not need to consist of sleep. You can enjoy eight hours of light activity. And... Resurrection spells no longer require diamonds to raise you. Holy you shit, undead leader. Well, not you can't become undead, but in terms of being undying. But well, okay, can we talk about the parallels that now are present for Willow and Rhea now? I think they need to hold hands. I know. 